The symptoms of hypothyroidism or low thyroid are weight gain, fatigue, hair loss or thinning, also constipation and cold intolerance, which is when you're very sensitive to the cold. Everyone in the room is warm and you're the one freezing in the corner. So these are the classic constellation of symptoms typically seen with low thyroid. There are multiple different types of thyroid medications available by prescription. The typical ones that we hear of are the synthetic form of thyroid hormone, including Synthroid, the generic name is levothyroxine, and this is a synthetic T4. There's also a synthetic form of T3, which is Cytomel or Lyothyronine, and these are typically available in traditional pharmacies like a Walgreens or a CVS. In addition, compounding pharmacies can manufacture synthetic T3 and T4 combinations in really any dosage and any ratio that a provider desires for their patient, and they're typically supplied in capsule form. Also, there is a form of thyroid known as natural desiccated thyroid. So this form of thyroid contains a combination of both T3 and T4. It also contains T1, T2, and calcitonin. So it is a very physiologic way to replace thyroid hormone. And when most patients refer to natural thyroid replacement, they're referring to the natural desiccated form of thyroid hormone. And those are carried under brand names such as Armor Thyroid or Nature Throid, even West Throid. Synthroid, like I mentioned previously, is a form of synthetic T4. Now in the body, T4 is the inactive or storage form of thyroid hormone, and the body must convert the T4 into T3, which is the active form of thyroid hormone in the body. Now not all patients are effectively able to convert T4 to T3. So the traditional form of thyroid replacement only giving T4 may not be effective for every patient. And the lab tests that are traditionally used for monitoring of thyroid are only the TSH and the total T4 test. So a patient could have normal appearing lab results because they're getting synthetic T4 replacement, but if a provider doesn't actually check their free T3 hormone level, a patient could appear to have normal labs but really continue suffering with symptoms of low thyroid. Now, there was a double-blind, randomized, crossover study that was published in the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism in 2013. And this actually compared levothyroxine, which is the generic name of the synthetic T4, to natural desiccated thyroid hormone. So it looked at, okay, what was the patient's preference over these two forms of thyroid replacement? And the majority of patients preferred the natural desiccated thyroid hormone. In addition, they experienced increased weight loss of approximately four pounds in the group of patients on the natural desiccated thyroid, which is significant for a lot of women and men. So clinical studies have actually shown that natural desiccated thyroid is typically preferred in patients and I would recommend any patient who's currently being treated with a synthetic T4 like levothyroxine and they continue to suffer from those classic symptoms of low thyroid even if their provider tells them listen it's not your thyroid your labs are normal it's something else maybe you just need more sleep maybe you need to go on vacation you know whatever they may say the cause may be if you have the classic symptoms of low thyroid you're on synthetic t4 i would recommend get the free t3 level tested and also consider a trial of a natural desiccated thyroid or even a compounded form of a combination of t and three t3 and t4 hormone to see if those symptoms can be resolved